across the country, the recent announcement that the Obama administration will suspend the deportations of some young illegal immigrants is generating more headlines and more debate. But who will it affect in our region tonight? WDBJ 7 Stuart Shield tries to answer the question. Chris, we wanted to hear from young people who are facing this situation. They came here as children years ago, have made their lives in this area, but now face an uncertain future. I came here at the U.S. 11 years old, and I've been here for eight years. Jessica Paz just graduated from Cave Spring High School. Like her friends Eddie Bolaños and Angel Monjaras, she came to the United States from Mexico with her parents and now would like to continue her education. I want to go to college. I want to be a nurse. I want to work. I want to have a license. It makes no sense to expel talented young people who, for all intents and purposes, are American. The executive order suspending deportations of some young undocumented immigrants is seen as a hopeful sign in Roanoke's immigrant community. Certainly these children came here illegally, but in reality, they are, they are victims to some extent of a decision that they did not make. Immigration lawyer Christine Porch says it's still unclear how the order will be applied, but she says there are many young people in this region who could benefit. For me, I want to give a better life to my family and some of the older son. You give us to a young person, you give uh, the opportunity to keep on going to school, to become a better person, which is at the, at the end, ultimately, it's going to be helping the country, the whole, the whole state. These three young people know well that this is a very controversial issue, that many people do not support any new opportunities for immigrants who came to this country illegally. But Chris, they ask people to consider the contributions they'll make if they're allowed to continue their education and fulfill their potential in the communities where they've actually grown up. It was something that I didn't even consider, that we could have local people here who are trying to get immigration status changed. This isn't the only immigration issue in the news right now, though, is it, Joe? Well, we're expecting a ruling from the Supreme Court any day now on Arizona's immigration law. The justices are considering four controversial provisions of that law, and uh, their ruling, their majority opinion, is going to keep this issue in the spotlight for weeks to come. Issue there in Arizona, but still could affect us here in Virginia. Definitely. Thanks. They are.